Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the Water's Edge. We're out on the Bulls Bay today, and uh, we're heading out to search for some speckled trout and cobia. So uh, we're going to be running south today towards the Tangier and hopefully be able to find our fish. Uh, the game plan right now is to search for specks early before the sun gets up. About mid-morning, uh, once that sun does get up, and uh, we get closer to the tide swing around midday, we're gonna head out and search for cobia. The wind forecast is supposed to be very calm today, so if we see some fish, we'll definitely cast to them. So we got about a 40 minute run across the bay down south, and then uh, hopefully we'll be catching fish shortly. So stay tuned for the ride. So we're pulling up to the first spot now. Uh, we're starting the day at Smith Island and we're pulling up to the two rock jetties that are out in front of the island when you're coming across the bay. So this is typically a good spot for rockfish, speckled trout, a little bit of everything. So we got a strong outgoing tide. It's a high tide right now. We're gonna start the day here, see if we can pluck a few fish and then uh, probably head to the backside and hit some grass flats. I'd be very surprised if there's no fish. We're gonna be hitting these points and a few creek mouths. You guys can see the current ripping along this point right here. So on a high tide, these fish get up tight and it drops down to about four or five foot of water. So they're uh, waiting to ambush bait up close. Now this is exactly what you guys wanna look for. A, per a point with current ripping around, a little bit of structure out there. So hopefully we can find a speck or a rockfish or a red or something. Okay. Should I pull the net out? Yeah, good fish. It's a trout. It's a trout, it's a good one? Yeah. Please be a trout. Came up. Came up. It's not fighting like a rock fish. Any color yet? Mm -hmm. Let me know where you want to fight with the trout. Take this, take this, take this. That'd be a nice trout. <laughs> Oh, rockfish. Rock fish. <laughs> That's a nice one, dude. Yeah, it is. It's called a nice rockfish casting at the island at Smith. So if we look in there, we got a beautiful half ounce head with a Z-Man paddle tail. What we're doing is casting this up to the shoreline, giving it quick pops back. We're gonna get this fish back in the water. There he goes. Awesome. Wind's picking up a little bit. Yeah. It's a fish. Can't tell what it is. Just I was bouncing it along the bottom and he picked it up off the bottom. Here, let me switch with you. A little deeper water. It's not fighting that hard. It wasn't fighting bad either. No, it feels decent. I just I don't know what it is. Deeper water. So it's a rockfish. Is that a blue? It's a rockfish. 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 Yeah. A little deeper water. Cool. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Sorry, buddy. Oh, not the target species, but we'll take a rockfish after. Take anything, right? Yeah. Cool. A little, I don't know, 15, 16 incher. It's been a struggle to find fish, but we pulled up to uh, north side of Tangier Island and got this point right here where the current's ripping around. I've seen some baits, a little deeper water. We were trying for specks in like four to six foot, but water temperatures were like, 83 degrees, so we think the fish might be a little deeper with how uh, with how warm that water is. Got one? Do that again. Nice. Oh, whoa. whoa. What is that? Bluefish? It might, dude, it might be a blue. Get the... Here. That did go crazy. What the heck? Dude, that was nuts. What was that? I'm going to say blue. It is. Oh, it's a nice blue, dude. <laughs> Dude. Nice. Sick. Smash the Z-Man, dude. Oh, it is a nice blue. Dude. Oh, oh. Yeah, dude. Yeah, nice. Oh, That's it's so cool. Another one on the Z-Man. They love these little Z-Man guys. Four inch, uh, what's this color called? Purple Death. Purple Death. They like the Purple Death, and it's death to this blue fish. 
fish too. <laughs> so the really cool thing about these Z-Mans, these blue fish are biting most of your baits in half, right? But the Elazitech on these Z-Mans, I can catch 50 of these suckers on this lure and it's gonna be absolutely fine. They do not break. Case in point. Oh, I'm gonna need whoa, that was weird. You on bottom? No, I got a fish. Oh shit, I need the net. Oh, nice. Dude, nice blues. Oh, I just got broke. Get this net. Get this net. Dude, there's a school of blues with them. There's, there's a school of blues with them. Dude, pitch. There's, there's like five other blues with them, dude. Right here. There's, they're chasing him. They're chasing him. They're chasing him. Right here. Right here. They're right here. They're chasing him. See him? Yep. Oh, dude, there's a nice blue with them. All right, I need this net. I need this net. They're gonna break me. Dude, there's big blues with them right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. They're going after it. They're going after it. All right, I need the net now. We got to back out of here. Oh my God, dude. Dude, that's a nice blue. Dude, nice blue. Here, let me bring them to you. Let me bring them to you. Oh my, dude. Dude, dude, nice. Dude, there's big ones in there. Dude, oh my God, let's go. Dude, sick. Big blue fish. We just pulled up to some, uh, offshore structure in about 15 foot of water and got into some nice bluefish. I Brady was hooked up and got broke off and I just caught this one. I had about five other fish with them. Uh, this is probably about a 20 inch blues. Very, very quality bluefish for uh, our region of the bay. So uh, we're gonna rig up with some other stuff and throw in there because it seems like there's a decent amount of fish, but super, super awesome fish. It hit a uh, five inch Z-Man pearl uh, with a quarter ounce jig head and absolutely crushed it. So I'm surprised that it didn't get broke off. I only got 12 pound mono on, but uh, gonna get back in there and hopefully catch some more of these guys. Really, really fun fight. I'm just retying my jig because that blue fish frayed my line a little bit. So I also got the tail bit off. So I put a new, new soft plastic on. The boys are casting up to the structure. Hopefully gonna catch a few more of them fish. I'm on. Yeah. Oh, dude, this feels like a nice fish. Hold on, I might bring I might bring some fish with me. So deeper up top. Uh, I let it sink and then it was just slow, slowly reeling. Oh, this feels like a nice fish, dude. Nice. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna grab the net. Yeah, get the net ready, Dave. You be ready to pitch in case I got some right here. No, you think you can net them yourself? Oh, oh. God. Just broke. There's definitely more fish around. Oh, nice fish. Oh, doubled. I'll net your fish. Oh. Quality. Oh, hey, I hear you up there. Mm, dude, nice. Oh, he fell right off the hook. Yep. Or, yeah, yours is a little smaller. Feisty guy. Yeah. Still smoke your size if you want. Oh, yeah. No, that's a nice. We're, keep, we're keeping oh, him. Oh, he's feisty. Ooh, nice blue, dude. What do you got? Sweet. Dude, that's actually not a small fish. <sighs> we're getting into a really nice class of blues right now. I'm very happy with this. All right, I switched to a little heavier setup. Dude, he smoked. <laughs> I saw. I heard it. I'm still going with the, uh, I just the big swim bait. I just saw a map of sky out of the water. Did you? Really. About, Here, me about 100 it. yards past this. Some nice fish in there. Careful, that's where I got snagged last time. Fish. Oh. Nice. All right, I'm casting in there. They must be sitting right on top of it. Way on top, dude. Is there one with them? I thought there, there was at first. I'll check. I'm reeling in in case. Dude, you look like you have a nice fish. He's just like the other ones pretty much, I think. Yeah, another solid, solid one fish. One just came up and flashed right here. Ooh. Oh, nice blue, dude. There you go. Oh, dude, pops right up. Nice. Oh my gosh, this is insane. Dude, this is sick. 
Nice fish, dude. Nice fish, dude. Ah, let's go! Oh, it's sick. In the madness of everything, Brady just caught a giant trout. I was in the middle of switching out my GoPro battery and he just, he just got a giant trout. I'll show you guys him right now. Dude, giant trout. Oh my God, don't let us catch another one. Like right after you're like, let's just pull up to the top and see if there's anything different up here. You're like, maybe there'll be a trout or something. Oh my gosh, dude. Is it a rockfish? It's too rockfish, is it too hot, but... Everybody was like, get the net! <laughs> get the net! It looked like he was barely hooked. I know, I was having trouble feeling the line. I think I also, maybe just went for it. Also, when the trout... Come on. Nice. nice. Bottom. I don't know what it is, dude. It's nice, whatever it is. Trout, 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 big 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 trout. Dude, it's a big one, it's a big one, it's a big one. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Dude, giant trout. Hold on, hold on, let me take this. Let me take oh this. Oh my god. Dude. Uh, there might be some trout in here. <laughs> David, look at the size of this trout, dude. 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 Holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. What? I didn't want to say anything. Oh, fish. you're on too? Oh shit. Get, get that fish out of the net. He's out of the net. He's out of the net. Dave, just be careful. He's right behind you. It's a trout. It's a trout. It's a trout. Oh my god, dude. This is madness. Not as big, but still a nice trout. Oh my god, let's go, dude! Let's go, this is crazy! Dude, we gotta get double up. Oh there. my god. Holy. Dude, let's back out and like just get yeah, situated. Yeah, me... Dude, my heart's like racing. <laughs> dude, I feel like I'm gonna die right now. Oh, boys! <laughs> we just caught some gator trout, some Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> gator trout three casts on the new area of this wreck that we're fishing and we've caught three monster trout so look at the size of these trout guys absolute trophy fish for the chesapeake bay we caught some giant bluefish out of this same area and i guess the trout are schooled in there too so we haven't even fished this wreck hard and we've already got three nice trout david got a uh, 24 i got a 25 right here all on the z-mans baby they are crushing them yeah the z-mans are putting in work you're using purple death with gig i got a straight tail z-man brady's using the sexy mullet and it's putting in work on these fish guys just it's some incredible fish we got three trout over 20 inches in the last five minutes <laughs> I'll get the net, I'll get the net, I'll get the net. Bluefish, bluefish, bluefish. Yeah, <laughs> Dude, that run is so sick. They're like little jacks. Actually, they're related to jacks. I think they might be. Oh my god, this guy's, that's a nice one. Right into the net, baby. Right into the net. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, dude. This is crazy. Oh. God, dude, this has been madness. I'm on. I'm on. This is running like a blue. blue? Dude, something big. It's just staying down. I don't know. No, there's head shakes here. It's coming up. Oh, trout. It's a trout. It's a nice trout. It doesn't yes. look as big. That was on bottom. Off the wreck, kind of. Yeah, just bottom bouncing. Dude, dude, this is a nice okay, fish. So big, yeah. Wow. Oh, I just got bit off. God damn it. Wow, dude, look it's at that fish. Oh my god. Yeah. It's gone. Uh, now I see. Wow. It's literally. Oh, he's bleeding. 
Is he? All right, well, hook that one a little deep, and uh, he's gonna have to go in the ice box because he's bleeding a good bit, and I don't want to just throw him back. But, dude, another quality That's trout. That's 20, isn't it? Yeah. yeah 21. Oh I'm sorry, buddy. You inhaled it a little too much, but it's all right. Oh, my. What's up? Yeah. Did I just get broke? I just got bit clean off. There's some blues, definitely. Oh, it was sinking. Alright guys, we just pulled up to the wreck we were fishing this morning after uh, searching for some Kobe without any luck and a few casts in, Dave got this nice speckled trout, probably about a 20 incher, and hailed a Z-Man pink, pink uh, flukes hail. So, I'm going to go ahead and release this fish, but gorgeous, gorgeous pattern on him. Back to the depths. Whew. Wouldn't, wouldn't mind catching a few more specks. Pulled back up to the wreck. The tide has just switched and is flipping the other way. And uh, we've got one speck, a couple blues. Brady just got broke off. Snag. That's a blue. That's a blue. He hit it while it was sitting still. I was sitting still. Yeah. Nice blue. Uh, I might need a net job here. Oh. <sighs> On this side. Oh. Nice. Quality, quality blues, dude. Nice blue fish right there, but he's going back into the tank. I'm using this six inch pink fluke style Z-Man with a half ounce chartreuse jig head. And uh, it seems like the blue fish are sitting a little bit higher in the water column while the trout are right on the bottom. So we're kind of bottom bouncing, trying to get these trout. We've had enough fun with the blues today and we've been broke off enough times, so. Oh, dude, when I saw those specks come up, like, the on the back of that fish, I was like, oh. That's a little blue fish. <laughs> I'm also surprised there's no rockfish here. I know. Yeah, I, we caught two rockfish all day. Yeah. See the sub hole? Really nice blue fish. What's going on, guys? out here cleaning some fish from yesterday's trip. Me, Dylan, and David got on some really nice bluefish and some really big speckled trout. Um, so we're gonna be filleting those up today. The bluefish are going on the smoker. So first I'm gonna show you how we fillet them up to prepare them for the smoker. So I like to cut in, go all the way down to that backbone, turn your knife, make sure you have a sharp knife, and just go straight through that rib cage all the way down and actually on the bluefish I'm just gonna cut that off and cut the rib cage out because when we smoke them we smoke them with the skin on that way when they're done you can just peel that meat off so that's the rib cage that's your fillet with the skin on we'll rinse those off and then we'll brine them for about 24 hours sometimes a little longer and then throw them on the smoker to make a bluefish dip. Or you can just smoke it and eat it how it is. So that's how you do the bluefish. Do this other side. Same thing, we're gonna cut in down to that backbone, turn your knife, and just go straight down. Cut through that rib cage, cut it off, take it out, cut that rib cage out. Left with a beautiful fillet. Hey guys, uh, doing some smoked bluefish today. I've got them in my brine. So, uh, still sitting in the brine. They've been there um, uh, basically 24 hours, which is a little more than you have to do. But my brine is just uh, water, a cup of salt, a um, cup of sugar. I mix in a little brown sugar with mine also. 
This is just one brine we use. There's many to choose from uh, to your taste and liking. Uh, a couple of bay leaves. Uh, and I throw in a little bit of um, J.O. seasoning and uh, some lemon juice. Kind of simple. And then uh, pour that water out. We're going to put them on a pan here and let them kind of dry out. Maybe take 30 to 45 minutes when I smoke my fish. I don't want them wet, wet. You know, uh, you want to let them sit out, get like a tacky look to them. Uh, we don't want to smoke wet fish. The smoke doesn't penetrate as well. So I'm um, going to dump this water out, put them on, and uh, get them smoking here shortly. These fish are filleted, but they are not scaled. When they're done smoke, smoking, those scales are going to act like a plate. We're going to let these kind of sit out here and dry out a little bit, maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes. I'm going to check them and then we'll get them into the smoker. Had these brine blue fish fillets out about oh, 45 minutes to an hour. Um, they still have that glazed look, but they've dried out a little bit. So we're going in. We're about 220 right now. I'm just going to kind of lay them in there. All right. We're going to go about an hour and a half to two hours <clears throat> at 220 and actually a little lower than that i'm gonna drop it down to about 180 and uh do about an hour and a half and check them come back maybe turn it down a little more another hour and a half and we'll check them again and towards the end of that sometimes i'll take half of them and do a little maple syrup on them just a little rub and sweeten some of them up get a couple different flavors going on and then uh, when that's all said and done we're going to eat some and we're going to have some bluefish dip We'll share that recipe in a little while. So we smoked our bluefish. We've got four fillets here. We're just gonna kind of peel it off. Comes right off. That uh, nice plank. Scales, we're gonna throw it in the bowl here, okay? Once we get it in this bowl, we're gonna kind of mix all our ingredients together. So what we have is um, onion and chive cream cheese, regular cream cheese. Got a lemon, a lime, some Jane's crazy mixed up pepper, some Louisiana Cajun seasoning, a little dab of honey, some minced garlic, a little bit of sour cream in there. We're just gonna break this up kind of nice and fine. Some of the firm pieces, yep, some of the firm pieces, <laughs> they go right there. <laughs> While Brady's doing that, I'm gonna cut a lemon in half here. Put a little lemon juice up in this baby. Yep, yeah, look at that. Now you can go just regular cream cheese, or you can go all onion and chive cream cheese. I prefer the onion and chive. It's got a little more flavor. Some garlic. Yeah, a little bit of garlic. How much you want? James. Um, that's enough. Like a scoop. Yep. Mm, I'm getting right in here with my hand, y'all. Gonna turn it over a little bit. Sour cream coming in, folks. Did you add any honey in yet? Nope. You want some? Yeah, I want a little dab of honey in there. I got my bowl filled to capacity <laughs> here, folks. Probably could use a little bigger one. Go ahead. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. We're just going to keep mixing and rolling this. Mixing it, rolling it. We're getting there. Oh yeah, we're getting there. This is, I'd say, pretty good consistency. Now, of course, you can do it thicker, thinner to your liking. I've got a lot of bluefish in here. You did not skimp on the bluefish. A couple pounds of smoked bluefish dip. You wanna try it? Yeah. It's on you, B. You gotta put that on a cracker, dude. Mmm. <laughs> what's that? Let's see what's up here. What do we need to add to it? Anything? What do you think? Does it need a little good? Does it need a little something? Do it like grandma does? I don't or? think so. Just grab a little something and add the taste. That's good stuff. 
pretty good. I think we're good. I think so. So, well, folks, hope you enjoyed that quick uh, tutorial on smoke bluefish dip. And uh, I think that's about it for right now, right? Get out there and catch you some bluefish. Yeah. I mean, mm, yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Till next time, we'll see you.